sana tv My name is Sadiki. Yeah. So my religion is Muslim. Just tell us when you have when you have become a Muslim, and and the reason to become a Muslim. Yes, the reason I also went to different places in my life, and then I found a lot of people, and I saw. But it was interesting to find the people, and I met people from this religion, and I got this feeling, which is was the right way, and I also I try starting to stop e even eating on Ramadan before I, I met anyone, because it was my feeling coming automatically. And I found that it's really similar with the Maasai tribe, and I got a very good uh, knowledge from them. One of the Maas, uh, guy we call Malim Simba. Also, I was working with him. I met him in the same company we were working together. No, 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 in, also in Selu. And uh, I, he told me that when you, when you need to be a Muslim, you have to be in a wise man. So I got some knowledge from him and also I trying to be able to pray by myself and also trying to start to teach me a little bit but I didn't have a good time. And that time you, you wasn't yet uh, adopted Islam? Yes, not yet. And the way I found from that religion was very good because they are very wise, they are helping each other and they're really behaving in a very good way, which we do in Masa as well. So I started to adapt to be a Muslim before I went to be like the same like you did for me. But also I, I started to stop eating on Ramadan because my automatic feeling that found that it's a really good way and the right way to be able to join you. Uh, until the day we met you there. Yes, and it was very good and it was perfect time to meet you, and I'm really so lucky that I met you. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> yes. Actually, is, is, this is good experience, you know. And I want you to know, people, that these guys are wise, intelligent. As you see, somebody can catch a language without going to school. And some other Tanzanians, they are going to school, and they end up without being able to speak like the guy who, uh, this Maasai, man who is speaking in front of you and they are seeking for the religion either they are trying to find a religion to believe and now we are uh, you know we are, we are not doing anything to i mean to deliver the message to them look at him he started i mean fasting ramadan while you know before even adapting islam alhamdulillah we came to his village here and um, i came to here near this jungle you know and i came to visit them and then when he saw me he he said in his heart uh, in his heart that this is the man who is going to take me to islam and then i gave him shahada and he became a muslim so i uh, ask you all muslim who are listening and watching this uh, if if you have a little bit money contribute to that we'll be doing uh, actually, my aim is to reach all Maasai and other uh, nomadic people who are living uh, in these jungles with uh, their kettles and, uh, and goats to, to deliver the Islam to them. So you are the one who you, you are going to help me to reach them. I will do, I'll do that for you. I'm your servant. Please help me, enable me so that uh, we can uh, uh, do what Prophet Muhammad said. Baligwani walau aya. Uh, deliver to them even one verse of Quran. So we are here to deliver that verse to them. And you are the one who going to help me to do this job. Please don't leave me alone. Be with me. Inshallah, we'll be together in Jannah.